Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm going to show you how to fix a leaky fridge. Now relax, there's only three places your fridge can leak from, so they're not too hard to fix. First, the seal around the door. Second, the ice maker in the back. Or number three, the pan on the bottom of the fridge. Let's start with the easiest thing first. You want to check the gasket, the rubber around the fridge door. Just use a warm, soapy rag to wipe it. Try to get out any crumbs or gunk that you find stuck inside there. It's pretty good. Which brings us to the next step. Does the door shut on its own? If it's not, it might be because the fridge is tilted too far forward. So how do we tilt the fridge back? The first thing you want to do is take off the plastic guard on the front of the fridge. Once you've got the plastic cover off the front of the fridge, have someone else push back on the top of the fridge so you can lean it off the legs. And use a piece of wood or cardboard or a book, something to shove under there and wedge in to get the pressure off the legs. Now with a lot of fridges, you use a pair of standard pliers to turn the legs clockwise or counterclockwise and that'll raise or lower the fridge. With some fridges, like mine here, you use a little screw on the front. Turn it right and left and you'll be able to see how it changes the, the tilt on the fridge. The basic idea is to lean it back enough until the door shuts securely so you don't get condensation forming that can drip on the floor and make a puddle. Another source of that puddle on the floor could be the drip pan. It's made out of plastic or metal and sits on the bottom of the fridge catching drips that later evaporate. If that pan is misaligned or has a hole in it, that could be the source of your leak. So, grab a flashlight, take a look. Now, don't be alarmed, it's going to be dusty under here no matter how good a housekeeper you are, but here you can see it. This plastic thing is the drip pan. All right, now that you've found the pan, pull it out very carefully. See, this one's got some old nasty water in it. We sure don't want that to get on the floor. Take it to the kitchen sink and wash it out with warm soapy water. Then fill it up again and hold it up to see if anything drips or leaks out of the bottom. If it does, you just need to buy a new pan. All right, there's one more place our leak could be coming from, the hose that supplies water to the ice maker. So let's start with the place where the hose attaches to the wall. In some cases, these are rubber or plastic, sometimes they're metal. You want to make sure that you know how to turn this water supply off, just in case we do something stupid and water starts squirting all over the kitchen. Now, let's look at other places where the leak could be coming from. The leak could be coming from here, where the hose attaches to the fridge, or it could be in this aquacolored secondary hose that goes all the way to the top of the fridge, and in this fitting right here. Well, looks like we found our leak, so all I have to do is finger tighten this fitting at the top of the hose. Now, in some cases, if you have a metal fitting, you might need a pair of pliers or a wrench to do this, but in this case, it's easily fixed. Now, if you do find a leak where there's a cut or a break in the hose, that's easily solved too. Just go to your hardware store and get a new hose. Well, my leak is fixed, and luckily I've got wheels on the bottom of my fridge, so it's easy to push it back into place. If you don't have wheels, you might want to put a piece of cardboard under the legs to keep from scarring your floor. Good luck fixing the leak in your fridge, too.